What's up, fish gang? Welcome back to Monster Fish Only, aka Mofo Fish, where we talk about monster fish and monster tanks. I'm your host, OGP, and today we're going to be talking about the green terror cichlid. Man, one of my favorite fish in the hobby. You like green beans, you like green money, you like the Jolly Green Giant, four leaf clovers. Did you like money? Do you like Yoda? Do you like Yoda's lightsaber? Do you like the Starbucks logo? I don't know. Other thing, any, anything you can think of as green. Then you're gonna like green terrors. Then you're gonna like green terrors. Oscar the Grouch? No? I don't know. Uh, are you a vegetarian? Do you like the Sani caps? Um, do you like the abrasive side of a sponge? All those things are green. So you'll like green terrors. What else? Garden hoses, pool table cloths, your aunt's Sunday dress that she wears every day to clean the house for some reason because she can't wear jeans anymore because she weighs too much. You shouldn't like that. But DJ, uh, man, just just run the intro. Just just run the intro, please. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause you're fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause you're fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Woo! Scooter chain, scooter chain, scooter chain, water 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 chain. Water chain, water chain, water chain, nah. I really got a jag and a red tail. Fish gang smooth like Denzel. Your boyfriend soft like X. All right, fish fools, let's dive in. Today we're talking about the green terror cichlid. So let's talk about the typical behavior. The green terror cichlid is a benthopelagic fish, which means that it will not stay within a certain depth range. Instead, it will freely swim across the tank and look for food from the surface to the bottom part of the tank. The species of cichlid is a very aggressive fish um, and very territorial. The females are often more aggressive than the males. Um, the older the fish, the more aggressive and territorial it becomes especially during the reproductive stage. Um, if you get two and they pair up, they are going to be a nightmare in your tank. Um, so we suggest uh, similar size fish as tank mates. Smaller fish should be avoided because they are likely to be killed or eaten. Um, also, it would be better to keep this fish as a single specimen or a mated pair. That's just pretty much their nature. All right, so green terror size and appearance. The green terror is a colorful and slender fish with pointed dorsal fins. Um, in the wild, they usually grow larger around 12 inches. I have one um, that's getting closer to the uh, 10, 11 inch mark. So they can, you know, get that size um, in captivity. But in most aquariums, they're probably gonna get around eight inches. Um, and they are not just green, as you can see. They have a wide range of colors. Um, their primary colors are going to be blue and green um, and metallic colors uh, with an orange or a white uh, lining along the edges of the uh, caudal and dorsal fins. Females are significantly darker colored. Um, and in my own you know, experience, I've just noticed that they have just darker colored eyes. They have more black in their eyes. So uh, pay attention to that if you're trying to sex the species. They're kind of difficult. Uh, to sex until they get to about the four to five inch mark um, then you'll be able to really tell them apart um, because the males will start to develop that uh, nuchal hump a little bit and the uh, dorsal fin will start to come to a pointed tip and uh, become elongated um, so let's talk about habitat and tank conditions um, the green terror is native to South America um, in the wild, it inhabits coastal slopes of the Pacific Ocean from the Esmeralda River into Ecuador and the Thunes River in Peru. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right because I just don't know. Um, it lives in typical, uh, correction, tropical freshwaters in the calm streams and river basins um, from Bra 
brackish waters um, to river mouths. The substrate of uh, the bodies of water is typically sandy, so I try to keep my tank sandy. Um, it is what it is, but they will sift through it. Uh, similar to the uh, to the geo, so the geophagus uh, fish, they will try to sift through the sand and find little particles of food and they'll eat it. So they're great for that. Let's talk about tank conditions. To mimic their natural environment, you'll need a, a water heater and you want to keep the temperature between 68 and 77 degrees. Um, even though this species is not sensitive to light, it hides away from bright light. Therefore, the tank should be kept moderately lit with moderate currents. When setting up your tank, you should use a large rock, sand, and possibly some driftwood. Um, you know, the gravel should be avoided though because it can cause digestive problems if eaten. I mean, when they're larger, they're gonna be a little bit smarter than trying to chew those down. So it is what it is, but sand's obviously the best. You can use any color works the same um, make sure to provide caves and also enough space for free swimming you know they do they do enjoy to kind of hide in those clay pots so if you got a couple of those uh, they'll be fine with those or if you just stack up some rocks they'll they'll make it to uh, they'll make it into their their environment so what size aquarium do they need um, I'm gonna say the minimum for one you could probably get away with um, a 40 gallon breeder I know people are going to probably say, oh my God, you shouldn't do that. But, you know, I'm not saying that's the best thing, but you can get away with it. Uh, 55 is probably going to be better. And, um, you know, you, you should you should be fine with a 55. Anything obviously above that is going to work. A mated pair, you're probably going to want to keep in a 75. Um, I've got two in a 55 right now. So we'll see how it goes. Right now they're getting along swimmingly. No pun intended. All right, let's move on. Uh, good tank mates. Great question. So, OGP, what are good tank mates? Other large cichlids, obviously, such as the uh, Managuense or the Managuis uh, cichlids, aka the uh, Jaguars, uh, Jack Dempsey's, Fire Mouse, and Flower Horns. So, pretty much any of the South American cichlids will be fine. Um, I wouldn't really mess around with. Uh, too many of the uh, African cichlids because if these guys mate up or they get into a pair, they will, you know, terrorize them. You could try it out. You know, some people have found success with it. Um, as long as you've got plenty of space for them to swim around and you got just the one, they'll probably get a, you know, they'll probably get along just fine. But if you get a mated pair, they're gonna kill. They're gonna kill those African cichlids. They might be tough guys, you know, but they're they're no match for uh, for them as a mated pair. There's just no match for that. They're vicious and they're relentless. It should be called the uh, the Green Relentless. All right. Um, Placos and other large catfish, they'll be fine. Silver Dollars and Pacus should be fine. Uh, just a side note about some Silver Dollars. I've got some red hooks, and now that they're getting older and getting a little bit more uh, sexually mature, they started turning into uh, pretty aggressive fish. So just be really, really careful careful and cautious of that i thought it was my green terrors that were killing things come to find out it was a big nasty mean uh red hook that i had and it killed off two of my uh tin foil barbs that were about eight or nine inches a piece and it just completely mutilated both of them i blamed the green terrors i separated the fish moved them into another tank uh, by themselves and then i had um, another fish that died so uh i found out after just kind of observing and watching the fish um, it was actually the red hooks. So that's a side note. That's that's free. We'll talk about those fish on another day. Um, so let's talk about what to feed them. Green terrors tend to be uh, carnivorous in the wild, feeding on worms, small crustaceans, and insects. Um, they're not fussy eaters in home aquariums. They are um, omnivorous um, and opportunistic fish. So I'd recommend feeding them a, a varied diet. Anything from pellets to frozen food to live food. Um, Keep in, keep in mind that the live food will probably be a little bit better for them. Um, and I'm talking about worms and, you know, maybe some some uh, ghost shrimp and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, some people say blood worms. I kind of faded back on that a little bit because I've heard some horror stories about people getting parasites from them and fish becoming um, infected. I used to swear by them, but once I started hearing about those, those, uh, those horror stories, I started... Uh, cutting back on that same thing with live food in general i really started cutting back on that a lot so uh 
you know, a good, a good, um, you know, cichlid pellet or some flakes that, that does, that does a really good job, um, every single time. Hey you, yeah, fish fool. If you subscribe to the channel already, then welcome to the fish game. But if you haven't, shame on you. Keep in mind, every time you subscribe to a channel, particularly maybe this one, your fish live a little bit longer. It's science. It's real science. But, in all seriousness, you get a chance to win some free stuff. So hit the subscribe button, enter for your chance to win. Um, all you have to do is just subscribe. Um, it's going to be a Sun Sun canister filter, uh, the 304B, rated for like 525 gallons per hour. Um, I will give you guys something that I don't personally use or I haven't personally tested. So I do have it on three of my ticks. I've got it on this uh, 75 here and I've got it on two 125s. So um, we will be giving it to one of our lucky viewers for absolutely free. All you have to do is just hit the subscribe button. Comment you love mofo fish and hit that like button. We're out of the tank. Oh